What's up, internet? Palagi kong iniisip na I need to organize my life better. Parang yung pag-organize natin sa cable management ng mga builds natin. Maraming apps na nangangako na tutulungan kanila para ma-improve yung productivity mo, more organized buhay mo. Pero actually, yung Windows with its basic features already has a lot of things in place para ma-organize mo yung digital desktop mo. And for me, pag medyo maayos na yung digital desktop mo, medyo maayos mo na rin yung in real life life mo. Tara, desktop tour tayo. I'll show you my own desktop at baka makatulong sa pag-organize ng digital life mo and in real life life as well. So this is what my desktop currently looks like. Obviously, hindi ko siya inayos para sa video na to. It's quite messy. But what is always clear is my wallpaper. So, got three monitors. Primary monitor center, we got the Mass Effect wallpaper, and then the Enterprise E for the vertical monitor. And on top, you got the Galactica. Actually, apat to na wallpaper na nagro rotate. Pero the other shot is the a picture from Earth from space. Uh, di kita ngayon kasi tatlo lang yung monitors. Actually, sobrang hirap palit ni wallpaper kung hindi activated yung Windows mo. Plus, kinukulit ka pa di Windows all the time. It's hard to get into the groove, whether gaming or for productivity. Kung in the back of your mind, iniisip mo na kukulitin ka ni Windows. So, let's activate it first. Punta tayo sa sponsor of today's video, new tab. Notice the keyboard shortcut I did there. That's from our previous video. Okay, let's do the primary monitor. The links are in the video description below. Turn on OBS also. Okay, got OBS there. Screen record. Start recording. So let's just go to one of the Hardware Sugar videos. Actually, I just did a live stream today, Sunday. So the link should be there. Yeah, just click that link. You're gonna go to cdkeyoffer.com. Create an account if you don't have one yet. Oh, turn that guy off. That guy is super annoying. Sign in kasi may account na ako. Tapos nandito na yung... Product page, Windows 10 Pro, 64 bit. Just buy now. And the pinakamahalaga, guys, don't forget to put our promo code HS20 para maka discount pa kayo. Malaki yung discount natin, guys. So apply. Right. Di pa kasi to super sale. Eh. I think mas malaki pa yung discount pag uh, maka super sale when this video comes out. So, submit order and yun, the usual payment options. Pag nakabayad ka na, lalabas yung CD key mo dito. Sa account mo, tapos my purchase orders, tapos yun, nandito na. We wouldn't keep using the sponsor kung di sila reliable. In fact, nakita mo naman dito sa order list namin, we use them all the time for the shop. Kakabli ko lang nga kahapon ata, nung apat na keys. So, reliable naman to. So, you just need to view the key. So click here, view key, copy and paste one of the keys, then go dito sa activate, search for the activate sa windows, activate settings, then, well, kung unactivated siya, lagay, nakalagay dito insert product key or something like that. Anyway, just click here, um, insert the product key, and then next, then you're good to go. Activated na windows mo. Alright, let's get to the desktop tour. Hardware stuff first. Stream deck for my brother. Actually, super useful. <laughs> Nandito yung mga emojis na ginagamit ko pang chat. Yung new, new standard replies ko. Don't take my money, basically. Add to cart, tapos buy na from Hardware Sugar. Take my money, boys. Excel sheet ko and things like that. So, sounds basic, but it's super useful. Sobrang convenient. So, ito yung mga accounts. So, stream deck. Even though hindi naman talaga streamer. Super old keyboard, mechanical keyboard, DAS. Di pa uso yung mga customized, customized nung time na binili ko to. Although I'm not really a keyboard guy, I just like the mechanical and I like them loud. Sobrang luma na Logitech, yeah, G602, wireless. For me, basta kung kaya wireless, dapat wireless. Uh, recently, na palitan ko yung switches nito. I used a service dito sa Metro Manila. Uh, he's very good. I posted about him, I think. Para mapalitan niya switches, and now all good to. Sobrang gulo nung desktop ko in real life, but my digital desktop is something else. Since nakatatlong monitors ako, yung first step para maging mas productive or mas maayos yung flow of information, lahat nung 
karaniwang kong programs, may naka-assign na yan na monitor. So for example, we use Slack to communicate among different team members since hiwalay-hiwalay kami. Usually nasa bahay ako, yung staff sa shop, nasa shop, sila Rocky the Programmer or si Ren, work from home din. So Slack gets everybody on the same page, talking on the same page. Si Slack palagi nandito sa vertical monitor, which by the way is a ViewSonic, sobrang luma na nito, XG something ata. Uh, the primary monitor, 27 inches, 144Hz, 2K na bank, EX2780Q, which we actually carry in the shop. Um, mahalaga sa amin na pag may nagtanong, uy, ano ba yung magandang monitor, mare-recommend namin from experience. And ito si bank, um, that's usually what I recommend kasi yun nga, ma- masasabi ko from personal experience, naka isang taon na ata to sa akin, maganda, maganda naman siya. Although, I do really like the ASUS Tough Monitor. The VG27AQL1A, I think. Uh, we also have that in the shop as well. Tapos ito, sobrang luma na monitor na ASUS. So, that's on the upper left. Nakakabit using a monitor bracket na North Bayou. North Bayou good for, for monitor arms. And I, I'm emphasizing the three monitors kasi key yun sa workflow ko. And modern na yung Windows. Actually, matagal na yung multi-monitor compatibility sa Windows. And kahit anong OS naman siguro meron, um, you should really take advantage of it kasi sobrang nakakatulong yung multiple monitors. Tip number one is have your programs, yung mga palagi mong ginagamit, parang may assign na sila na monitor. Uh, I think there's actually a program for that na automatically sila magsa-snap dun sa monitor na gusto mo. Pero tinatamad pa ako. <laughs> Puro manual pa lang at this point. So, for Slack, it's automatically here sa vertical monitor. Viber ko din. The primary monitor is for my main browser, Firefox, because that's where I answer inquiries via Facebook. I answer emails and things like that. So it has to be the, the one that I see first here. Oh, look, there's the dog. Then usually dito sa taas, secondary browser ko si Brave. Palagi nakabukas yung hardware sugar page. In particular, tong PC builder namin. So, Available to the public tong PC Builder. Kapag may nagtatanong, sir, gusto mong pa-build, ito yung budget ko, ito rin ganagamit ko. So, if you're familiar with parts, comfortable ka naman pumili nung parts, nung components, punta ka lang dito sa PC Builder and super useful, yun rin ganagamit namin pang generate ng quotes. There's no need to ask us directly like, oh, can you please quote me this? Do you have this? Actually, dinesign talaga namin yung site na kung comfortable ka sa components, madali na lang pumili and to see what we have and how much and then madali na rin to check out. Kasi kaya mo na rin mag-check out. Like, lahat na pipiliin mo dito sa builder, pwede mong i-add to cart para isang pindot na lang. Brave also shows you ads, but you get crypto for listening to those ads or seeing those ads. So, kaya maganda yung flow of information. Kung sanay ka na kung saan ka titingin, parang automatic na siya. Ah, may Viber message. Hindi ko na dito sa vertical. Ah, may nagtatanong sa Facebook kung available ba tong item na to. Akit lang ako kaagad dito para ma-check. And it makes the workflow so much easier when instinctive na siya. Alam mo na kung saan ka titingin for which program. Sobrang i-maximize mo yung monitors mo. Kahit na single monitor ka lang, pwede mo namang i-window talaga yan. I mean, windows <laughs> literally means you can have lots of different things on one screen at the same time. So, i-snap mo yung isang window dun sa side, yung isang window dito. Just so that you have a logical flow na alam mo na kung saan mo hahanapin yung mga pieces of information na mahalaga sa'yo. So, tip one, maximize the monitor or monitors that you have. Windows or any modern OS will do that for you. There are add-on programs that help you snap which way and parang automatic na siya kung saan mapupunta yung different programs when you open them. Yung sa first tip, may magmire-reklamo na or baka may makaisip na ano klaseng tip yan, eh sobrang mahal, maka-multiple monitors. Actually, yung maganda sa monitor, you just need your primary to be good. Pero yung iba, pwede naman sobrang duma. Like itong ViewSonic, more than 5 years na ata to. Um, it's probably closer to 7 or 8, I think. Itong ASUS, mga 3 years. Ito lang yung primary ko. Magtutu na rin ata to eh. For multiple monitors, you can get the cheapest, oldest thing that you can find. Kasi pang display lang naman talaga siya eh. You don't need it to run games. You don't need it for the color accuracy. Kailangan naman lang talaga pang display. And sobrang useful niya kahit luma na yung monitor. Pero naka-multi-monitor setup ka. 
Number two is having separate drives. Ito din, hindi naman ganun kamahal kasi mura na rin yung storage ngayon, especially kung hard drive. So for Windows Explorer, palagi akong, palagi nagsasnap na siya dito sa right hand side. So naka vertical siya. I actually have five drives. It's actually four drives. The fifth drive is Google Drive. So sa cloud naman yun, it doesn't count. Yung OS drive ko si, sobrang diit lang to na SSD. Intel SSD pa nga ata eh. Maybe like, um, I think it's 512 gigabytes. Let's check. Ha, not even. It's like a two, it's like a 220 gigabyte SSD. Sobrang liit lang niya kasi OS drive lang naman. Um, you can get away with that para lang mabilis mag-boot up yung OS. My C drive is a super small SSD drive. My D drive is a 1 terabyte Crucial MX500. Yun, lahat ng games nilalagay ko dito. My Epic is there, and my Steam is there, and things like that. Itong E is a hard drive for data storage. It's a 1 terabyte hard drive for storage. Medyo naubusan na siya because YouTube videos and all of these footage takes up a lot of space. So recently, bumali ako nung WD Purple na 8 terabytes. That's my storage F. Gumawa ako ng video explaining na kahit CCTV drive, okay pa naman siya for storage. Kasi may nagsasabi na yung CCTV drive, pang CCTV lang talaga dapat yun. But I've been using this for around 6 months, no problem with just basic storage. And finally, you do have Google Drive na stored in the cloud, but the way the interface shows it, parang sarili lang siyang drive dito locally. So it's easier to access the information. So tip number two is if you can, have different drives for different purposes. Ayoko masyado na isang malaking drive tapos doon tinatambak lahat, lahat. Different drives also ensures that at least if one goes down, you still have access to some of your data. So let's say if my data drive goes down, at least yung games ko buhay pa. Kasi nasa SSD drive yun. And again, this doesn't need to be expensive. Yung mga hard drives ngayon, mura na lang. Kahit second hand na trusted naman yung source, okay naman yun eh. Usually drives last a long time. Tapos may magsasabi na yung mga SSD mabilis masira. That hasn't been my experience at all or at the shop. Matagal na rin tong SSDs sa akin um, and they're completely fine. No data degradation. Their health is pretty good. Because of the channel, and dami ko ng stock footage, and dami mga ongoing projects and things like that. So lahat yung nakastore dun sa isang drive, the first data drive, si Drive E under YouTube. Basically, what I'm saying here is to have a file system in place. Hindi na to uso ngayon. I understand that the current trend is just to throw everything onto the hard drive. Tapos magsa search ka na lang. Medyo mahina si Windows dito. Yung feedback sa akin, mas maganda yung search function ni Apple. But the trend now is, especially among the younger users, they don't care anymore where it's saved. Total, hahanapin lang naman nila yun. Call me old-fashioned, but it's really a lot easier to find your files and to organize them in your head pag alam mo kung ikaw mismo gumawa nung directory structure. And you might not be into YouTube, but maybe there are some other projects na kailangan mo na maraming files, na kailangan mo organize. So this might give you an idea of how to do that. For me, kung mag-edit ka ng video, ang dami mong kailangang kunin na files from iba't ibang lokasyon. So para sa akin, para madali, nasa isang parent folder na yan. So it's under YouTube, tapos may audio, subfolder audio. And then music is for the background music that I can choose that I downloaded from Epidemic Sound. Ibang folder naman yung sound effects. But all of them are here when you need them. Because I only add them to the DaVinci project when needed. Hindi ko sila lina load lahat every time I make a new project. Since di ko naman sila gagamitin lahat. So you got YouTube audio and then clips. Clips are short things from the YouTube videos that bakal magagamit ko olet on a regular basis. There's the ad, of course. Ito yung ad namin, the latest version. Yung high GPU na montage, yung moody PC setup na parang nag-zoom in yung camera, Rocky the Programmer throwing money around, generic typing, all of the old footage that I might use, naka-condense na siya, naka-cut up na siya para madali na lang ipasok dun sa latest na project. So yun yung clips. And custom titles are like the titles in DaVinci Resolve, yung mga may animated na ano. Although to be honest, I don't really use a lot of custom titles kasi medyo nakakalito sila. <laughs> Graphics are yun, yung mga illustrations that I get from Envanto Elements. Naka subdivide na sila based on what they are. So the arrows, computer parts, party, ah, emojis, also important. 
So yeah, that's under graphics. Uh, IG temporary, like what I post to IG. Posted videos. These are our complete videos. I actually don't have a complete list of all of our videos. Yung iba kasi si Ren nag edit or iba nag edit. Yung iba kahit ako nag edit, di ko na isip pa the time na is save. Total lahat naman yun sa YouTube. But sometimes it's important to have a copy of our particular video. Tapos lina label ko sila based on their video, based on their episode number. Every video that we have na sa ilalim kung anong episode number niya total like the entire time we've been doing videos plus ano yung episode number niya for the year so yun yung episode information dun sa ilalim projects are the things that I've already done or are ongoing so ako mismo nag-edit ng mga to and basically I dump all of the files there so the raw footage the b-roll maybe some important graphics that I'll probably only use for that project nandito yun lahat para ma-recreate ko yung project if needed so let's say for example, yung Deepcool PQ1000M, uh, this is the raw footage. Usually I just, I go through it muna sequentially, tapos naka-number na yan in order. I also have scripted notes because it was Ren who edited that video para masundan niya. Projects, Rox is our, one of the employees in the shop and she sends me pictures from the shop na ginagamit ko pang post. And yung mga videos na usually ginagamit ko sa Instagram namin. So yun, actually it seems simple pero it's been years in the making itong basic file structure na to. Kasi nung nagsimula kami sa YouTube, di ka naman naisip na kailangan ng file structure, hindi pa ganun ko-organized. Pero over time, parang padagdag ng padagdag yung mga information na kailangan ko i-organize, isaksak dito sa video na to, it extract to, i-post to, parang ganon. So, it seems simple but having a directory structure can be super useful when you're when you have big projects. Gusto mo rin kasi simple yung directory structure para hindi ka ma-overwhelm, para maalala mo saan mo hahanapin yung information. And that's really the basic point about this desktop tour. You need to know where to find the information. Parang di ka lang naka-rely sa Google or kung anong search function dyan para hanapin yung information mo. Kung naka-multiple monitor, paglingon mo, ah, itong sa monitor dito, alam ko na na yan yung may chat. Dito sa taas, yan yung secondary browser. So, yan yung may hardware sugar information. Dito sa left-hand monitor, dito rin ako nagsa-search nung specs ng different tech items. So you'll notice yung default search engine is Ecosia, which plants trees when you use it. Tip number four is to use the customization features of Windows. So pwede mo i-lock dito sa taskbar ano yung mga programs na nandito. Madaling i-quick launch if needed. Also, I also modify ano yung mga programs dito sa start menu. Again, just very basic things, but actually, yan yung humihinto sa akin na lumipat ng computer or ipa-reformat yung Windows kasi sanay na sanay na ako dito sa, sa setup na to. Kasi syempre pwedeng i-recreate pero nakakatamad eh. Parang kaya siya personal computer, PC, you've already made it your own with the customizations that you've done para mas madali yung workflow mo. And so, kahit messy yung physical desktop ko, at least medyo maayos naman yung digital desktop. And from there, Nagagawa ko naman yung trabaho ko most of the time. <laughs> if you have any desktop organization tips, whether for real life desktop or digital desktop, please do leave them in the comments. And thanks for watching. And thank you to our top fans. Na afford na namin tungo puwan na to. De joke lang. Thank you to Leah Magnaye, Ian Meru, ITX Addict, John Ruben Ocha, Christian Espinosa, and Rafael James. Thank you for supporting the channel.